Hey, what's up everybody? Too Tall Toby here, and for today's power move, we're gonna talk about the face fillet command and how it helped me get out of a jam on this customer file. So we showed this to the customer and the customer said they liked the design, but these fillets in the corners are too small. They wanna increase those to a radius of eight millimeters. So we'll click here on the radius dimension, change that to eight millimeters. And now this looks good down here, this looks good up here, but this over here, not so good. We're really not liking that, how that's coming to a point. So there's just not enough room for that eight millimeter fillet with those original small faces. Now, certainly what we could do is we could go into the sketch of that feature and maybe modify the sketch geometry, add an arc here, maybe do a trim command, trim off this extra geometry. But that seems like a lot of work just to get an eight millimeter fillet. And so this is a spot where it's really handy to know about the face fillet command. Because when we go here to the fillet command and we go across from constant size to face fillet, what we can do is pick this face here as face set one. Then we come down into this lower box and we pick this face down here as face set two. Now down here at this bottom section, we can type in a radius of eight and we can see here that what SolidWorks will do is it will attempt to create an eight millimeter fillet tangent to face set two, tangent to face set one. And then it just kind of ignores everything that's behind that fillet over here on this side. Side. And when we hit the green check mark, we can see that that geometry is filled in with solid geometry. So if I do a control Z here and maybe I change this back to two millimeters, you can see it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if you've got two faces or three faces, or even if we had a, a bunch of extra geometry here, like if I add another little uh, cut here, just for the sake of making this a little bit more of an exotic region here. Now I'm going to launch the fillet command, the face fillet command. I'm going to choose this face here as face set one. I'm going to choose this face down here as face set two. And once again, SolidWorks is just going to go through and kind of clean up that whole region and fill that region in with solid geometry. So this face fillet command is a great time saver. Anytime you need to kind of blast through a corner and just kind of clean up some type of a problematic corner, this can be a great tool to help you get that job done. And if this is your cup of tea, it's worth mentioning that later this month on February 29th, we're going to be teaching an advanced part modeling class. And we're going to talk about this very topic, advanced filleting tools. If that sounds interesting to you, be sure to visit us at twotalltoby.com slash training. You can sign up for that training class. And of course, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to let me know down in the comments. Hopefully this will help you get out of a jam sometime. And be sure to like, be sure to subscribe, and be sure to come back for the next episode of Power Moves.